What's up, y'all? Jared Sandler here with you, continuing with our series of Rangers game memories. And again, we'd love for you to share your memories, whether it's of the games that uh, I bring up or maybe a, a game that stands out to you that I haven't brought up or maybe one that I wasn't even alive for, depending on how uh, far back your Rangers fandom goes. You know, the 2011 season is a really painful thing for me. I don't like speaking about game six and when the Cardinals came to Arlington last year, it was, uh, and I, I admitted this, it was a really rough weekend because it was tough to not think about what took place. But I do want to bring up game four of that 2011 World Series because it included arguably the greatest uh, pitching performance in Rangers history when you consider context. Obviously, Nolan Ryan has some no hitters and Kenny Rogers with a perfect game. But when you consider the context of the Rangers uh, facing a, a possible 3 1 series deficit in the World Series, Derek Holland going eight and a third scoreless innings uh, has to be uh, at least up there for the greatest individual pitching performance in Rangers history. And I had a really unique, uh, I guess, seat for that game. So. We had a family friends, one of whom uh, was dealing, battling cancer and was undergoing chemotherapy and wanted to go to the game, had tickets, and this particular family friend made me a deal, said that if I drove uh, her and her husband out there and picked them up when the game was over so they didn't have to deal with parking or any of that stuff, they would give me tickets to game five. So I did that. And my plan was to drop them off and then go find some local sports bar to watch the game. And then when uh, the game was ending its conclusion, I'd, I'd head over and figure out where to meet them. But remember, I, I was a, a Rangers fan, and just the fact they were in the World Series was really cool. So what I did was I made sure to dial up uh, Eric Nadell on the radio, and I found a, a parking spot, and I just walked around. I walked around the ballpark for probably 30 to 45 minutes after first pitch. And eventually an usher uh, saw me and was like, hey, you want to come in? And uh, that usher is still there, I don't, or a ticket taker, whatever the proper term is. I don't want to throw this person under the bus, but uh, ended up allowing me into Globe Life Park in a standing room only section. And so I got to be inside the building for it. It was really, really cool. Uh, and I remember Mike Napoli's three-run home run that gave the Rangers a 4 nothing lead, and the place just exploded. I remember the boos when Ron Washington came out of the dugout in the ninth inning to take the ball from Derek Holland, and then the massive ovation when Derek walked off the mound. And remember, you know, Derek wasn't necessarily dominating that postseason. He had an ERA over five entering that game. I think it had been five weeks or so. Uh, since he had worked into the eighth inning uh, of an outing and to work into the ninth inning. I mean, he was just on fire. Uh, the Cardinals had 16 runs the game before. Derek put a zero up, gave the Rangers hope, and it was a really, really special game. And it was big because it was it allowed Alexio Gondo to get a rest, uh, and it obviously evened up the series and gave the Rangers some life. But uh, what a special game. Derek Holland was throwing 95-96, remember, from the left side. And, and I'll never forget, Lance Berkman, I think, was asked after the game about Derek's dominance. And he said, listen, he's a lefty who throws in the mid to high 90s. There aren't many starters who do that. And it reminded you how talented Derek was. And it's just unfortunate that injuries got in the way uh, a few years later and, and maybe prevented him from developing into the guy that uh, we all thought he would become, but uh, never be able to take that away from Derek, who truly is a tremendous ambassador to the DFW Metroplex, uh, a community-oriented person, and I'm, I'm so proud to, to know him. And uh, He's just so goofy and such a loving, fun guy. It's crazy to think that guy on that stage with that fun-loving goofiness was able to dominate Albert Pujols and that lineup the way he did. It is a special performance and one that I will never forget. It was cool that I was able to be in the building for it and, and pretty fortuitous I was able to. I was prepared to get my steps in before it was cool to get your steps in and just walk around and hear the sounds while listening to the game. But uh, I'm, I'm glad I was able to, to be there for that. What a tremendous performance by Derek Holland. 
Anyway, this is entry number three in my Rangers game memories. Uh, postseason games, regular season games, maybe a spring training game. We'll see if there's something memorable I can think about. Uh, Going to go to something tomorrow uh, that I was not uh, really aware of the significance of the time, uh, but ended up being a, a significant talking point uh, years later. So we'll do that. But uh, again, we'd love for you to share your Rangers memories, either uh, the ones that deal with this particular game or whatever game you, you can think of uh, as we continue our Rangers memory series here on 105.3thefan.com.